Welcome to the video demonstration of the Quadraphonic Zoning Spatial Diffusion System. This is with a group consisting of Phil Gooding, Miles Fell, Thomas Goodall and Sam Walsh. We're going to talk you through a few different aspects, starting with software and contingency interface. So here is the main load-up screen of the software patch. The first section is the Touch OSC sub-patch, doing the same function as the software developed with the infrared touchscreen, allowing custom interfacing between an iPod or iPhone to max MSP. Here is the audio buffer section. When controls are used on the iPod, the corresponding buttons, toggles and sliders activate. The individual channel gain offers a logarithmic scale of level independently. The first of the spatialization functions the audio passes through is the quad, using the inbuilt panorama algorithm within Max edited for quadraphonic use. The zone system allows triangulation of coordinates to each of the eight speakers on the array, comparing, creating a proximity gain ramp. The XY pad, the main controller interface, notice when a channel is selected on the iPod, the corresponding point moves within Max. Miles Fell will now talk you through the speaker design and array. This is the original speaker and enclosure designs. As you can see, there is a front and back speaker. The back speaker is not hardwired and acts as a passive radiator. Originally, the speakers were placed inside the enclosures and the speakers act as passive radiators with the bass reflex. The speakers were aligned at 45 degree angles at the Project Viva. This is the floor plan, directly related to the Max MSP patch and also to speaker location. Now Phil Gooding will talk you through the touch screen. So from here you'll see the infrared camera. Uh, to turn it infrared we had to take it apart and there's a little square bit of gold that we had to scratch off behind the lens and replace it with um, a bit of film. Um, put back together, put in place, obviously screwed in place to make sure that it looks up at the, uh, at the screen when the lid's shut um, and this will be what's tracking the movement of your fingers on the screen. Behind me you'll see um, a light. Uh, this light was designed by um, taking apart a, a, a computer screen um, using what's a, a piece of glass that is used to diffuse light behind an LCD panel. Um, also a, a sheet of plastic to again diffuse the light. Um, this is basically just a strip light on the top that sends the light through it and lights up the, the whole surroundings. Um, also you'll see that we painted the inside a bit white and there's some paper on the on the floor, uh, this is just for for making sure that the light reflects up towards the uh, LCD screen. That's it. So you see here, we've got the LCD screen. Uh, this was taken straight from a Dell a normal PC screen. Um, all of the circuit board again was taken straight from it. So just take it apart, wired it up, screwed it into the actual the lid of the touch screen itself. Um, and then through this, you'll see, like I said before, you've got the light will come through this. You'll be able to light up the LCD. You see that you can plug your computer into the point there, um, and it's basically it. This is how the system was set up on the day of the Viva. As you can see, the speakers surround the participants set up at a 45 degree angle. Thank you very much for watching.